Hello, my name is Tara Brabazon and I'm the Professor of Education and the Head of the School of Teacher Education at Charles Sturge University in Australia and also in Canada. We have three locations for our school in Bathurst, in Dubbo and in Burlington in Canada. But none of that matters terribly much or perhaps it does, because this video is part of my assignment submission for the Old Globe MOOC course at the University of Pennsylvania. And I'd very much like to thank my colleagues at the University of Pennsylvania for creating such an innovative array of ideas. As part of their assignments, they've instigated a portfolio framework. That is, we construct an artefact, you're watching it now, and we configure an exegesis or an explanation about this artefact. So that's brilliant. I'm having a wonderful time. And one of the reasons I was brought to this course on Old Globe, indeed, on ageing, is because I'm 44 years of age. And it is quite important as a professor of education, as someone who believes in lifelong learning, that I put my money where my mouth is, or indeed my time where my mouth is, and I actually learn about MOOCs by involving myself in a MOOC. So I'm having a great time and that's tremendous. But this week in this first portfolio artefact, our focus question was what is ageing? And a series of tropes or ideas were put in place to ask that question about biology, about psychology and about sociology. And from my background and perspective from media and cultural studies, I also think there is cultural ageing. And one of my major interests that I've done a fair amount of research in is what I call the silver surface. How do we get older guys and gals to be active and involved and literate and engaged in the online environment? So I hope that's an area that I can explore and continue through this course, Old Globe. And so for my artifact this week, I thought I'd tell you something about what I've been doing with my time this week while I've been watching the videos. I've been doing the final proofs of my new book called Digital Dieting. But besides me being 44, I have a father who is 85. And what he's been doing this week is the index for that book. So with all this notion of ageing and the consequences on our brain and our body that have been the focus of this week, I think it is important to remember that ageing is also a cultural formation. And this man, who was born in 1928 in Northam, a very small town in rural and regional Western Australia, not only moved through his life from a rural to an urban environment and from a carpentry apprenticeship right the way through to a series of white collar jobs, but he has seen the earth change. He has seen urban Australia transform. He's seen work and leisure and families transform. And he's been able to manage those changes with great effectiveness. But quite remarkably, he's been able to manage the digital transformations of our lives as well. He's heavily online, and I'm not sure many 25-year-olds could manage the completion of an index for a book. But this is not just one index that Kevin has done. He's done 13. He did his first when he was 70. So I think we need to ask the question when we say, right, well, what is ageing? We need to shatter and distill and confuse and agitate a little bit our social expectations of what it is to be 85 and notice that if ageing is considered a form of learning, then we can continue to learn and continue to engage new literacies. So thank you so much for the opportunity for week one's contribution to the portfolio and I look forward to continue to thinking about the old globe. See you next week.